Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Good day, good evening. Hope you guys are all well. And I uh, just wanted to make a, a video today and talk a bit about the Eiffel Tower. Considering the Olympics is going on, they had all the Eiffel Tower symbolism. And I just started thinking, and I got I got to give a big shout out to somebody in the chat. I'm not even sure who it was that said this. But they said that the Eiffel Tower sounds like the words Eiffel. So I started looking into this and I found some really interesting stuff connected to the I and the Eiffel Tower. So again, this is not going to be a long decode, but this is going to be very interesting. And maybe some of you other people in the, in the decoding community can also take it from there. But let's dive in. Let's see how this all connects. So first of all, I immediately thought of when I thought of Eiffel, I immediately thought of the verse in Matthew 6, where Jesus says, For your, where your treasure is, there will your, will your heart be also. The light of the body is the eye. If therefore thine eye be single, the whole body shall be full of light. So if your eye is single, your body is full. So eye full, right? But if thine eye be evil, thy whole body shall be full of darkness, okay? If therefore the light that is in thee be darkness, how great is that darkness? And I'm going to kind of show you how I believe that this verse is connected to the Eiffel, ta to the Eiffel Tower and, and the blackout that happened in Paris. And so just think of eye full because it's talking about how the eye is full of light because your eye receives the light, right? Your eye takes the light in from the outside world and it translates it into vision, okay? So I think that this is going to be quite interesting. So let's look at it. So first of all, you have the eye full, right? And even if you go look at the phonetic sound of the word Eiffel Tower, Eiffel, it's literally on, here's the phonetic meaning of it. It literally has the word I, okay? So this is on Wikipedia. It literally says I full, okay? So it's pointing you once again to the I, right? I full. And when you think of the I, you think of the verse I just showed you guys, but you think of the, the light, you know, hitting the I, right? And then you should automatically think of the Illuminati eye or the eye of Providence or the eye of Forest or, or whatever you guys want to call it, the eye, the pyramid, Freemasonry eye, whatever you want to call it, it seems that there's this connection, right? And so this is the first connection that you guys have to understand, but I think it's pretty easy to see. So let's, let's see how this kind of connects. So I thought this was absolutely insane, right? Because what I did was... Because this is in France, okay, the, the Eiffel Tower is in France, I started thinking of the word Eiffel, and I translated the English word Eiffel as in a long, steady look at something. You're getting an Eiffel. You're getting a glimpse, right? Eiffel. And just think about it, guys. The Eiffel Tower is somewhere where you can view Paris, and, and the Eiffel Tower itself is something that you can get an eyeful of. You'd like to look at it, right? It's something that people want to look at. So you want to get an eyeful of the Eiffel Tower, okay? But anyway, I decided to take the the sound of the word Eiffel and translate it into the word Eiffel in English and then translate it into French. And much to my surprise, <laughs> if you translate the word Eiffel in French to French, you get play les you. I don't even know how to say that. But look at this. The French word, if you put it in gematria, which again is the practice of coding numbers into words, coding numbers into words, right? And letters, right? And look, if you spell out in French the word for Eiffel, it equals the word Eiffel Tower in all four ciphers. All four. This is the French word for Eiffel, 167, 59, 157, 58. And if you spell out Eiffel Tower the way it sounds, Eiffel Tower, it equals 167. And again, this the reason I said Eiffel is because I also connected it to this verse in Matthew where Jesus says, if your body, if your eye is full, 
if the body, the light of the body is the eye. If the eye is single, then thy, the whole body is full of full of light. Eye full. If your eye is single, your body's full, right? And again, like I said, you like to look at the Eiffel Tower. It's an Eiffel, right? And it's just insane that the French word for Eiffel <laughs> matches Eiffel Tower, if you spell it out like that, in all four ciphers. And again, you got to think about how Paris, it, the body of Paris, and I'll explain that in a minute, but let's let's go to the next slide. So now how does this connect to what's going on right now in Paris for the Olympics and how the Eiffel Tower was the centerpiece for the Olympic Games, the ceremony, right? So again, I just showed you that Eiffel is Eiffel and the, the French word for Eiffel is this word right here, play, less you, however you say this. And look at this. Remember, the Freemasons are known for using the Eye of Providence, which is essentially the same. The, it's similar to the Illuminati Eye or the Eye of, you know, the Eye of Providence, right? Well, Freemasonry equals play the French word for Eiffel. Notice it's just in reverse, 58, 59. Play less you, 59, 58. Now, what gets even crazier here is look at these two stories down at the bottom, guys. These are two recent stories from the beginning of the Olympics. There was an attack on the fiber optic networks. Do you guys understand? During the opening of the Paris Olympic Games with the Eiffel Tower, you had an attack on fiber optic networks. And if you guys know about the eye, there's an optic nerve, right? In fact, optic means eye, right? But what's even crazier is they said that these attackers also, these arsons attacked the railway's nerve centers. So they made, a, uh, they made this connection between fiber optic and nerve centers. And of course, this is optic nerve, the eyeball, right? The, the, the main nerve. And look at this. When you take all these words over, again, to the ciphers, guys, you're going to get Freemasonry equals 5859. The, word, the French word for Eiffel equals 5958. Fiber optic. Remember, they said there was a fiber optic attack. Fiber optic, which is all about the eye. Optic is I, fiber, optic, 58 and 59. Again, I full tower, if you spell it out, I full tower equals 59 and 58. Okay. And most people might not know this. I didn't. But the Eiffel Tower is connected to television. Why was the Eiffel Tower responsible for the birth of television in France? And in fact, it was. It was used, and it still is, I believe, used to transmit Television, television, guys. Eyes have vision. Television. This is also talking about the mind's eye, the third eye, right? Which is represented by this. But notice that nerve centers, they also said there was an attack on nerve centers, which also equals 58, and television equals 59. And again, you had all these words equaling 58 or 59, okay? And what's the chances, guys? I'm making this connection to France and the Eiffel Tower and the eyes. And now there's an attack on nerve centers in fiber optic networks, which is both connected to the eye. Okay. And the Eiffel Tower itself is a transmitter for television signals. Okay. So, which is what you, you see, television. Okay. So perfectly synced up with the events going on right now. Okay. Now. What about this verse in the Bible, Matthew 6, 21, where Jesus says, let the light, the, the light of the body is the eye and the Eiffel Tower, including in the Olympic Games the other day, was lit up with light, right? The light of the body is the eye, the Eiffel Tower, right? If therefore thine eye be single, thy whole body shall be full of light. But if your eye is evil, you're full of darkness. Now look at this. At the Olympics, guys, they had the, the, the Eiffel Tower lit up. Paris is known as the city of lights, right? And your eye receives the light from the outside world. And, and there was a power outage. The city of no lights. This is an article from just a day ago. Olympics host Paris deals with reported massive power outage. And there you go. You got your eye going dark, just like in the verse in the Bible. They, the first verse says your eye is light, like the city of light, like the Eiffel Tower is lit up. And then it goes dark. 
because of the evil, right? But if thine eye be evil, your whole body is full of darkness. So now all Paris went dark for a little bit. It's not, it wasn't a huge thing, but it went dark, right? This was symbolic, right? And this could also be symbolic for the upcoming massive power outages that they're planning, the, the global reset, whatever, okay? And there's a lot more to talk about with the power outage um, narrative, but I just want to stick to this this eye thing first. So you guys get it? The city of lights goes dark, and in the Bible, Jesus says, if your eye is evil, then your whole body is full of darkness. Okay, the Eiffel Tower goes dark, okay? And I should mention also that when Paris went dark, the only thing that was still lit up apparently was a church or a cathedral, okay, which makes sense in the context of this. So let's bring this all together. Why is this all about eye and light, and why is it in Paris? Well, Paris, France is where the Society of Jesus was founded, okay, in 1540, and the Eiffel Tower is the symbol of Paris. And again, Paris is known as the City of Lights, right? Well, the Society of Jesus has the I. Notice that the word I sounds like the letter I, the I-H-S, right? And they have the sun, which the sun is the eye in the sky, right? The illumination of the sky, right? So they have the, the sun, but then you also have the eye of Horus, the all-seeing eye, the eye in the sky. And I've showed this in prior videos, but... There's a huge connection between the eye in the sky and the all-seeing eye in the number 56. And this all goes back to the Society of Jesus, whose number is also 56. Society of Jesus 56, where they were founded is Paris, France, which equals 56. The Eiffel Tower is located there. And the Eiffel Tower, all-seeing eye equals 56. Eye of Horus, which is a similar connection, equals 56. Eye in the sky equals 56. Mind control, which is the mind's eye, right? Television takes over the mind's eye. Mind control equals 56. And full of light, which is what Jesus says, your whole body shall be full of light. And again, this equals 56. And that's important, guys, because just the word light equals 56. So why do you think all this connects perfectly with the eye the eye receives the light so light equals 56 all seeing eye eye of horus eye in the sky mind control full of light society of jesus paris france all 56 and just to bring it all together paris is known as the city of lights and if you type in paris france city of lights it equals 263 right here and that just happens to be the 56 prime so paris france city of lights equals 263 the 56 prime paris france equals 56 so it all comes together perfectly. Now, another connection is that the Eiffel Tower is made out of iron, which again starts with the letter I, like the eyeball, like the Eiffel. It's made out of, the Eiffel Tower is made out of iron, right? I, I. And notice that the word iron equals 56, the same cipher as light. So the Eiffel Tower is made out of iron, right? And I just connected the Eiffel Tower to light the city of lights and just just so happens the guys that the iron 56 isotope right so the normal you know the most common isotope for iron is the iron 56 iron 56 is the most common isotope of iron about 91 percent of all iron is iron 56 so again iron equals 56 and you have the iron 56 being the most abundant type of iron and the Eiffel Tower is made out of iron, and iron equals light. And even the, the symbol for iron is the letters F-E. And F-E are the letters, the sixth and fifth letters, which again is your five, six. E, you could, it's six, five, but you could also say it's backwards 56. So all connects back to this 56, right? And the last slide, guys, just to bring it all together with the 56. Now, this all connects probably to the Holy See, right? And, and other people have talked about this, but it's pretty clear. Again, we're talking about Paris, which equals 56, like the Society of Jesus. The Pope Francis is the first Jesuit pope. pope. He is the first pope to be a member of the Society of Jesus. And Pope Francis also equals 59. And I talked about 59 in the beginning of this. But anyways, he's the first Jesuit pope. And Jesuits were founded in Paris, France. That all connects with the 56. 
And just notice that the Holy See in Latin is the Sancta Cetus. And Sancta Cetus equals 56. So again, and this is the Holy See, like the eye. You see with the eye. And this all goes back again to this to this concept of the eye full, the body being full of light, okay, because of the eye, okay? And again, it's crazy that these things, that we just had a blackout, which I believe is symbolic of the eye going dark, right? And then, as I showed you in the beginning, what's the chances that they had attacks on the nerve centers of fiber optic networks? And of course, the eye has the optic nerve, okay? So anyways, guys, I hope you guys can understand that. I just thought it was really interesting, and I should put this out there. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thank you for commenting, liking, subscribing, sharing. Hit the likes on the way out, and we will see you guys in the next video. Take care.